Hello everyone. What's up? It's me and okay, I think I have sort of fixed my lighting. I got curtains so this doesn't shine in my face anymore so now I'm not blue. I'm orange which is a plus. But uh yeah, um today we're going to be checking something out. Now when I did the Gargolan video last night, um or yeah, yesterday. Uh I was using Gobademic, and Gobademic's always been one of those leads that I feel like died after Gargolem Speed was a thing, but it has one advantage over it, that it has access to the enchantments, so that's what we're going to be kind of looking at today. Now, I want the item Clutch Plushie because um, just being able to survive at least one hit is always great for suicide leads, and it's just generally always the item that they've used, and then going with Very Nibble so I'm as fast as possible. And unfortunately, I have Secret Ability. You should use a normal ability, but I don't want to retrain it, so, plus I don't really have a lot of time to do that, yeah. But yeah, here we got Barbs, Provoke, Far Enchantment, and Gobblegoop. Now, I know you might be a little confused, why my Gobblegoop? Well, I was talking about this in the video yesterday with Gargolem, where, um, the fact that I can drain energy is why I, I freaking love this move, right? It's, it's a great move because I can just drain things energy and you might think wow energy draining that's not too great and if you really think about it it's not that great I had to cut real quick to do something but I like the energy drain because let's say I'm fighting an Oculos right and it is running a lot of energy to click drudge once or brawn boost once or bulk up once so then it could go for some kind of late game clean it would try to get to 275 energy if I get one gopple goop suddenly when it clicks drudge it would be at 250 suddenly it can't click five moves where normally it would be able to if it was running enough investment and i went with far enchantment because i don't really know you can pick whichever enchantment that you want near enchantment far enchantment doesn't matter but i feel like you want range defense more sometimes because of a bunch of scary things but if i fight enough wrestlings i'll get near enchantment yeah, then we have Barbs, of course, as a suicide lead, and then Provokes, we can actually stop other things from setting up on us. Now, unfortunately, this thing's ultimate counter is Gargolem Speed, because it outspeeds us, provokes us, uh, mud slides away any hazards that we get up, and will always beat us before we beat it. So, yeah, little problem. But we'll figure it out, or hopefully not fight one. But, yeah, the TBs are pretty simple. Um, I don't have it sharded, even though I've had this for, like, four years she she are old um but yeah uh you get 200 health so you have as much health as possible 36 energy um i think that lined up perfectly for something i'm gonna have to go uh check gobademic 36 gets you to 240 ah yeah get get yeah 240 makes sense and then the 64 range fence just leftovers and the 200 speed so you are as fast as possible now, Gobademic was one of the fastest things in the entire game, and it still is one of the fastest things in the entire game, but never really had, like, offenses to show for it. But, hey, maybe today it's going to absolutely pop heck off. But, yeah, hopefully you all enjoy. Let's get right into it. Alrighty, here we go. I need to hope that I'm aligned with the Pokemon. Okay, I am. I got, yeah, I got Cherubi, Servine, um, Coridon, Mew, and Meloetta today. That, that's the, the squad I brought. Uh, we're fighting Bane of Haste. Um, yeah, slight issue. Mm. Oh, I do not like this. Mm. Yeah, there's a lot of problems. <clears throat> if I do this, though, I, I can stop the Icicle a little early. I feel like if I bring this, they're always going to go for... Um, uh, fade away immediately so maybe I can go into land torch immediately and then they go for mega chomp so I go into wobblisk and that's a bunch of turns wasted it's about wasting the turns on the uh icicle because man I can't do that much against anything um this is pretty much all I can really bring right maybe I mean I can't really beat the metatode right I'm just gonna go gobademic see if they go with their icicle lead is there an Abilla Forge? That makes sense. Um, <clears throat> well, I guess, what is it going to do, like, um, is it going to poison me? It could. 
Maybe they, I am immunized though, so it wouldn't really take any effect. Kindled Rage, we take actually very solid damage there. Let's Barb again. If we can get three layers up, then this is great. This would be amazing if we get three layers up. But no, they, they, he doesn't let us. He does not let us get th three layers up. This is just not a great game for the Gobademic in general. But we're going to still try. Because honestly, I don't have any other options here. I feel like they're just going to go into Hollow Bunch. Because they know I just want to fade away Flash and Flee, whichever one. I feel like Hollow Bunch just comes in. Um... But if it's hollow bunch, they would just palm, and then I'm just in a bad spot. But then I just go Simon, but then I take way too much. Whatever. Yeah, they're thinking. Okay, no, good. I, I got it. Um, huge damage. Do they earthquake? What are they clicking? Kindled rage. What are they clicking? All they have is earthquake to hit me super effectively. No other movie has would kill me. So it leads me to believe they're going to Earthquake. But then if they Kindled Rage, I lose Stratosaur. Actually, I'm clutch on Stratosaur, so I don't lose it. But I'm not getting much use out of it. That's for sure. And then I lose to Charonix. Okay, they do Earthquake. Now, unfortunately, I can't actually just kill this. I mean, maybe? Do I? Can I just kill it? I don't think so. Flash of Lee was Stab. This is 80. This is not Stab. It's 30% stronger. Stronger range attack. No, that doesn't kill. I would need to Soul Burst for this. That's fine. We got the barbs up, though, so that's a plus. We're going to hopefully get this to work, though. Hopefully. I think I finally got the good camera angle that can see whenever I do this. Sort of now. Like, It's just... The problem is if I zoom it out too much, then my face is just too small. Right? But if it's too close, then I just look like this. And it's really awkward. So, I don't want to do that. This is just a good angle because you don't get to see what's going on, like, on my wall. I have some things hanging up, but mm, not really anything. Okay, yeah, there it is. Um, are you just going to Thunder Chomp? Just going to Thunder Chomp into Mega Chomp, I feel like. Simon is literally my best option, right? It's, it's all I can do. This is all I can do. The best thing that I can do right now is just try to stall the Bane of Haste. That's it. Can't do anything else. <clears throat> yep. Here's a Soul Burst. And now it's either Thunder Trump or Fade Away. One of the two. The smarter move here is just a Fade Away. Whoa. Bro's going backwards. I already saw you soul bursted, man. Why are you going back in your box? <laughs> okay, that's an interesting one. I haven't seen that one before. Get my final layer up. Why not? No reason not to. Okay. This is amazing because he's just wasting his turns. That's all that he's doing. You can't even set up on this. So even if you try, I just Driving Force. And if it's Charonix, they're just going to Magnify. And then... I think it's going to Stratosaur immediately. No, I can't. Uh... This is two turns of sleep. <clears throat> I watched this video about how yawns are contagious. Um, and I was fighting for my life in that video. Trying to just not yawn. Because they were like, you are going to yawn. It's like, no. No, I won't. Okay, so I can Flare. They would have had to bring Hollow Bunch, right? Where's the Hollow Bunch? I mean, Metal Blast comes out here. If it's Metal Blast, I go Strat. All I can do is go Strat. I can't do anything else. They got a range attack increase. So, like, Shatter makes sense. You know, I'll take it. <clears throat> Wait, did I just win? <laughs> oh, buddy. He's misplaying. <clears throat> and I was paying attention, right? I was paying attention because uh, the Moraith is actually analyzed rather than um, reflective. So I know that I can energy search for free. I know that I can do that. Yes. Yeah, now he just lost. If it's a Charonix Hollow Bunch, they just lose. Because then I just Metal Blast spam and he can't do anything. You know, he loses if it's Tronix, uh, Hollow Bunch. 
A school is what I think it is. It was not what I thought it was. Um... If Hollow Bunch is in the back, I need Stratosaur alive. Hollow Bunch feels like the most logical play. I th think I can outspeed it. Let's check. Um, Hollow Bunch. 72. Uh, well, let me just check Hollow Bunch. Check Metatoad. Metatoad. Okay. As if it has no speed investment, I outspeed it. So we're just going to go straight into the Hollow Bunch here. <clears throat> It could slap though, and then that's not great. <laughs> it's not. No, there's the specs. Oh, he gets a. That crit matters. That crit very, very much matters. Yeah, that, that crit very much mattered. Which is kind of upsetting. But I know Simon can outspeed. And if it is Isagul, Holobunch, Chironix, whatever his last one is, I think it's fine. I just need to kill this. Oh, he's just going to set it right back up, isn't he? just over huh maybe no he would he has to click his soul move right there is some very real potential i could stall this out if he doesn't play this right here comes a frightful surprise because he got the crit on hollow bunch that mattered now i think i'm just driving force here i have to keep the metatode out right yeah, you can also do that, I guess. Hypnotize. Uh-oh. They just go Metatoad now. Do they switch Metatoad, or do they just... If Waba lives Metatoad, I win. So they have to fade away. It's literally coming down to if Wobblisk tanks one Psychoblast. Which I don't think it does. But we can hope. Oh no, actually. It's Hollow Bunch. Isn't that not just a throw? Is that not just a horrible throw? Did I just win? I think he just threw. He just threw. Why are you going haul a bunch? I just win, I think. <clears throat> he just lost. I'm, I'm surviving any one hit because of my ability. I ignore your stat boosts. He just lost. Dude, I got a crit! Yes! Uh, yeah, no, he just loses. Actually, there was potential that he uh, he lives the um, Metal Blast. I guess I just deep freeze now. He can't do anything. If you stay in, you lose. If you switch out, you lose. Because all you can do is hypnotize, but I outspeed, so my deep freeze plus barbs plus luster loot kills the Icicle. If they go hollow bunch, I just deep freeze. He lost. I, I don't know why he went with Palm on the hollow bunch instead of just going for the kill. He needed to kill this, but he threw and did not play well. Yeah. So, yeah, now I just do this. Is, I'm full health, so... I think I can just Metal Blast. Nothing stops me. All that he can hope for is if I uh, airstrike the Icicle, right? So what they have to do is go Hollow Bunch. But the thing is, I don't think Hollow Bunch tanks after the Barb's chip, right? And the Driving Force. Like, I don't think it tanks it even at, at the health it's at. He, he definitely messed up there, though. Like, if he just set it up and then switched straight into Metatoad, he just won. But I guess he didn't see that. Okay, no, he lost. The switch there was Hollow Bunch. It was your only chance. 
The reason it was hollow punch is because um, be, your only chance right now is if you can Nova Blast and then kill my Shadow Sword in one hit. That was that was their only chance, but they messed up. They they one hundred percent messed up with the plays here. They they uh, sheesh, something something went very wrong. Anyway, um, let's blow up the hollow bunch. I've had this happen to my to me way too many times. Where my poor innocent hollow bunch gets air striked. I I would not even have to worry about this whole freaking situation if I just did not get crit. That was the the factor here was I got crit, but I adapted and I overcame it, and were better for it. So, hey, what a dub! You can also see like the light shining on me. I'm all I'm planning on getting like ring lights like here and here, like right there and there. So yeah. All right, we're fighting a freaking cool break dance. It reminds me of the villain from uh, Minions 2, The Rise of Gru. Um, okay, so Gobademic, that was a, this is a Gobademic video and I, <laughs> it died immediately, but it's not supposed to be the one that pops off. It's supposed to help with barbs and those barbs were very helpful. Um, don't I just like fade away? I mean, I can also flash, I guess. Grr, I do not like the Lashen. They do not have any toxic switch in actually. They actually cannot switch into toxic, but my toxic type isn't offensive, so there's a problem. They also can't switch into zip zap, so Protagon's free. And another Meta Toad, which I can go Cosmure to like deal with the damage and then switch out. Or I can do this. Or I can do this, because I think Stratosaur could also magnify. Problem is, the Metatoe just comes in, so I need Barbs up. So if they go Seer Knight lead, I'm assuming Drudge or Barbs slapped on also makes sense. If it's not Awakening, then I can live three hits. I think. Hmm. And if it's Mutagon... No, think about it now, I need Cosmere, because if I don't bring it, then I lose to Cannibo. <sighs> Why? Why must I be condemned to deal with this? Why? Why do I have to deal with a freaking Metatoad right now? Why do you have to make? Why do you have to lead with this? Do I just gopple goop, or do I barb? I'm just gonna go Cosmere. These things are almost never Watchers, so I'm not worried about Slapdown. If this is the one Watcher Metatoad in existence, no. Okay, it's it's just gonna blow me up. Okay, I take nothing though. Part of me wants to say I... Mm. That did way more than Psychoblast. What? Seer Knight? If it's Seer Knight, I get a very... <sighs> We're over here now. I think Fade Away is coming out. That or Slap. I think I just go grab a Demic. Well, this is fine. Yeah, they're they're playing for the Metatoad game, huh? Do I barb into a far enchantment? I think I can. I think I just barb into far enchantment. Cause now the difference is this thing doesn't have enough energy, right? Zip zap. Ow! That really hurt. <laughs> that really really hurt. Okay. <clears throat> I'm not sponsored, I just, I just wanna... Um... I feel like I can live any one... Actually, if I far enchantment... Do I provoke first or... I'm gonna far enchantment. Okay. We're actually popping off. I should've provoked first. I definitely should've provoked first. But... Can I, can I kill this? I can just go Simon if I'm worried. Can't actually like kill this though, which kind of sucks. So I'm gonna stop it from peace of minding. Hmm. Yeah, I'm a little spooked. No more setup for you. So I also know that it's rageful, but I can get all my layers of barbs up here. I can just go for all my layers. I can get my ice cold traps up and my barbs. Like, this is gonna be great. Ah, uh, they're waiting for me to gopple goop or muck blast. They're waiting for the poison move. But no, I can just get all my hazards up. And then once far enchantment goes down, I can just click it again. They're just waiting for me to go for damage, huh? I 
Well, I can now just provoke him again. If he wants to be in this endless fight, sure. F actually, I could save Gobademic. I've done all this, right? Why don't I just save it and go save it as a sack? I can either set up far enchantment or save it as a sack. I think I'm going to opt for the, uh, the first option. Or... Ladder, sorry, not not the first option. Save them all for the ladder. Yeah, I really do not get the Jalusa player here. This is awful, awful Jalusa gameplay. This is terrible Jalusa gameplay. What we're gonna do here is pop the Rageful Plushie and then Driving Force, because it doesn't matter to me the setup boosts that they're getting. It doesn't matter because I just ignore all of them. So popping the um, Rageful Plushie there and then switching them out. Makes it so then later, I don't have to be afraid of going for super effective hits because now they can't take advantage of the fact I can do that because they're not doing anything to my Wobblisk. Look how little damage I took in two hits out of plus three Jalusa because of Ignorant. It's not even Ignorant boosted. There's Metatode, and this is another reason why if I since I saved Gobademic, I can use it as a sack. Right? I can I can totally use it as a sack. What else did I bring to deal with this? I didn't. Okay, so... Land Torch doesn't kill. I think Simon can live because it's two attack specs. So I think this is the thing where I have to get a little bit more chip on it before Land Torch can go, for, can go for the kill. I think I can live just because it's two attack specs. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna go Gobademic. And Gobademic works because now it's just a, a full sack. Perfect. Full sack Gobademic there. It did a lot though. We stalled out the Jalusa and set up the Wobbles perfectly. So now we go Land Torch. And this is now a problem because I have Ice Skill Traps. I have three layers of barbs. And your Jalusa's chipped. So my presumptuation is they're just going to go Jalusa here. Which makes total sense. If I wanted to, I could have clicked Fade Away. To go for the kill and then I get my wobble skin so it um it doesn't encourage a Jalusa just coming in. Which would have made a little bit more sense. But uh you can see it's taking a lot of damage, so we're pretty much chilling. All I need to do here is just go into this, and then if they palm, perfect, I just driving force. Okay, just luster, they're going for the kill on Waba. Um, yeah, I just driving force here, and then the next time it comes in, it ju it's just dead, pretty much. I don't think it can do anything. I think the Agatha House of Harkness show comes out today, so I'm totally going to be watching that after this. Why not? Can I not just check? I'm going to check. Hopefully I don't get copyrighted by freaking uh, Disney World, because I'm just going on Disney+. Plus. I mean, actually, I could just turn off the speaker. Let me do that. There we go. Okay, well, there's a strat. Uh, oh, I don't. I just don't care then, huh? The, um, this is just great. No magnify. Okay, I was going to say, do not magnify there. Hold on. What I'm thinking in my head, um, Metatoad and Jalusa are pretty much dead. They have Lashent, Stratosaur, and one other. I forget what it is, but... I don't think they had a way to stop Fire Breath here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna check Disney Plus. <laughs> Let's see. I don't think that they can stop this move. Oh, it's defensive Stratosaur. Can I kill the Lashent? Oh, no, I can't. I didn't expect the bulky Stratosaur. And I also expected Fire Breath to kill. Maybe Protagon was just a better move there and then I zip zap. Lashent is not low enough. If I, th if I Thunder Strike, they just go Lashent. Then I have to bank on Dart Burst. No, no, I lose to the Lashent because of that. I expected that. I fully expected that to kill. Um. <clears throat> Portagon was just the better move there. 
I made the wrong move. There is not over actually. If I do this, they go Lashent, they rejuvenate, I hypno, um, and I dissipate. That or they just slap down. They could just slap down as well, which might lead to me winning. I'm honestly not entirely sure. Oh, it's not out yet, but it's coming out today. Yeah, uh, it's, it's coming. Jalusa, okay. It just dies to barbs. <clears throat> I'm trying to get the Lashent to come in. That's the thing. Let me unmute my speaker. There it is. All I can do here is hypnotize. That's all that I can do. Oh, it was. It might have actually been low enough. I don't know. I, I just need to hypnotize though. If I if I miss, I think I lose. Oh no! They just go for the kill. They're opting to go for the kill. All I need to do is hit, hit hypno and I win. Okay, now I dissipate into Protagon, and if this is very robust, that means I get a range defense, a range attack increase. And this thing can't switch out either. It, it just, this Lashent just dies. <laughs> tough game though. Very tough. The Stratosaur definitely got me off guard. What is the last though? He hasn't revealed the last. Yeah, it, it's it's robust Lashen. Okay, we just dart burst. Were they banking on the dart burst miss? I guess potentially. What's your last? Ah, oh no, they just lose. They need to click. They need to click Clobber to kill. But if they click Clobber, then they can't kill Cosmere. Then Cosmere wins. And um, yeah, no, they lose. And I was, I was also thinking maybe they could be boots, but nope. Hey, not too bad. Gobademic what, it was, had a really good matchup into this fight. It was very strong. All right, we'll do one more anime master. He's just a shadow. Okay. Mm. Okay, this is an interesting one because there's a regift user. And if we're going to be fighting regift, not actually that bad because we can go like Waba, right? Driving force it out. Uh, we want at least one layer of barbs of this game, but realistically speaking, that's not going to be happening. I mean, if I go Gobademic, they go Zulong, they know I want a barb, so this is going to hard switch into Fiskarna, so it means I get to Gopplegoop, and then if I Gopplegoop, I get a little bit of damage, then I just get to go straight into, uh, Waba, and then Waba gets to Driving. The problem is I have no barbs up. If I can get a single layer of barbs up, we are going to be happy. But I do not think it's happening. Icicle Traps is also just so strong here. Alright, this game is literally about killing Fiskarna, and I win. Um, also, they can't switch into Flare. They, they have uh, one potential light immunity, so this is good. <clears throat> so, there are a few things that can happen here. And, okay. Hmm. If I go straight Cosmior, then Fiskarna could come in, which is honestly fine. I think that's okay. Then I just go Simon. And then I continue with the plan as normal. Or if I go Cosmure, then Poison Barbs could go up. And then I get Poison Barbs on their side. And they can't get rid of them because they are an airborne air. They're an air type. I don't think that they can get rid of Barbs because they're flying. So that's the thing I'm in right now. I think Cosmure is honestly the move. I think this has to be the move. I don't know what else he can do. They either go Fiskarn or they Poison Barb. Yeah, there's the Poison Barb. Or Fiskarn, I mean. So... This is actually completely fine because I just go straight Simon and then I start making progress by uh, driving forcing. I, I can get a single layer of barbs up, then I'm happy, right? But realistically speaking, that's not happening. Well, I, I, I'll just throw out, um, if they, I guess if they want, I can just throw a deep freeze because so far they've shown an, uh, a weakness, a quad weakness, and then another weakness. So I'll just deep freeze. Well, that's not going to kill me. They wanted chip on this, but if I can just kill Garbanus, I'm up for it. If you can ever get a kill for like half your health on Illumin, always go over because it's a positive trade. It's always positive because getting that kill on Garbanus means it's one less thing for me to worry about, one less thing that he can switch in for sacks, one less thing that he can have that can tank barbs if I can get them up, but I don't think it's going to happen. I don't. I just don't think I'm getting barbs up. I'm 
I'm gonna do this and then provoke, I think. I just, I physically cannot risk, yeah, this coming in, like, this is fine. This is not that worrisome with the switch. I don't take any damage from Frostbeam. I take nothing from Frostbeam. And then they probably just go Snag Oop. I feel like I just Nova Blast. From what he's shown me, Nova Blast should always be the move here. Because if they just go Snag Oop, it's a throw. Yeah, this just dies, I think. I don't think Snag Oop lives this. Yeah, he does not live. So now they go back into Chanta. Um, Chianta's gonna Brawn Boost. I don't care, I have Land Torch. I just go Gobademic and Gobble Goop now. They can also Ice Hammer, which doesn't kill Gobademic. I don't think. I don't think, actually, Frost Punch might kill. I don't think that this kills me, so I'm just gonna Gobble Goop. I lied, it killed me. So, we're gonna go into... See, the Gobademic may not have actually done too much, but it did set up for me to get two kills for free right it, it it set up for that because it might not have gotten those said kills but it did set up for it oh that was a mistake switch into this we go land torch and he can't do anything the only potential here is that this is clutch plushy so i flash and flee the, the only thing i'm worried about is clutch plushy but they just go into what fiskarna this card means hollow bunch, which then means um, life drain that he can't switch into. And he goes Zulong, then I get a free Nova Blast. Then if they go Chianta, I just get huge damage. Like, that's the thing. If you can just play around Fiskarna and just predict when it comes in, because Fiskarna will pretty much always come in against support moves. That's pretty much always what's going to happen. So this is a bad move because, for one, I have the option to Nova Blast, and plus you take way too much. Now you broke the clutch plushy potential. That now I can just flare. And this is also like my Zulong check, so we're just gonna Nova Blast. I have no reason not to. Ancient Roar, we can assume that they just go into Chienta. I don't care, because I can then just go into Cosmior. This is prismatic, but it's not. Alright, um, Cosmior just comes in. If they predict and go Zulong, it doesn't matter. I just go back and haul a bunch, and if they Ancient Roar, they just waste energy. Youch. He just loses, right? I think he loses after Dissipate. Because he doesn't have any move to hit Land Torch. Yeah, that, that just loses. And now I can just Flare. Now, yes, Flare is the weaker move. Because it is a resisted move. So, essentially, it's 70 base power. But... Because of how much damage my Nova Blast did with Hollow Bunch, and the fact that I have a... I, I don't think as much, but I was at minus one with Hollow Bunch, so we're at generally the same power level right now. Flare is totally fine because it's going to do way more than enough to get a two-shot. I thought I was just going to get down to a two-shot. But no. No. I was wrong. Alright, all they can do here is switch, but it just delays the inevitable, because I can then just go Hollow Bunch and spam Noble Blast. <laughs> mm. now, this isn't scary either, because I have Simon that can come in at any time, at any time, time, any time. Yeah, that doesn't do anything because it's not stab. Like, if your move is not stab, it sucks. And if your move is stab, it sucks. It's it's a uh, double-edged sword, man. I think I can just kill it. Does this just kill or no? Okay, it does. No, I just Nova Blast. 
It did it just kill? Okay, I've had moments where it's like, wait, why is it? St I couldn't even see the health bar, right? Nova last. Blow him up. <laughs> well, I'll be entirely honest. I don't think the Goblin did that bad at all. <laughs> Um, I do think that there was more potential I could have done with the Gobademic, but in that last battle, what did it do? I want, I want to talk about that real quick. What did it do? The only move that I was able to click was really just provoke, right? And after I provoked, um, it bounced back onto me. But here's the thing. Because of Gobademic wanting to set up its hazards and be supportive, it always baited in the Fiskarna... So I just took advantage of that. Fiskarna always wanted to come in. So I just get to go Hollow Bunch. I would have gotten to go Protagon. I can go Cosmere to prevent them from... I don't know what they would do. But they could do something. And it just it wouldn't stop. Right? And Gawademic, um, in the second battle, got to do what it's meant to do. Set up Hazards. Set up Enchants. Provoke. And Gopalgoop is like the last option. Right? But they, they obviously wanted me to hit them with Gopalgoop. But I didn't have to. And yeah, in the first battle, it did it did the suicide lead idea where you just set up a layer of barbs or two and then die. And then for the rest of the battle, your barbs are going to be doing stuff. It, it definitely should be more, more generally catered toward um, hyper offense rather than just balance because this is clearly a balanced team, right? Maybe like more of an offensive balance, but hey, it did work out pretty well. I think it, it, it was pretty solid, right? Like getting these options is great. But yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed, and I'll see everyone later. Bye!